Hello and welcome to night prayer. It is good to have everybody together. We have folks over on Zoom and if you're online with us, I hope you will say that you're here. Type amen and thanks be to God and share your prayer concerns that they may be shared in community. Hi, Lisa, Donna, welcome. Dana, welcome. Lisa Lilly, welcome. Good to have everybody here. Let us begin. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. By day, O oh God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your word is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Welcome, Renee. We'll continue with confession and forgiveness. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. In Jeremiah 14, 9, it says, You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. John 14, 27, Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. We'll continue with the responsory. The refrain is into your hands, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. I invite you now to share your prayer concerns in the chat and comments that they may be shared in community, out loud from wherever you are worshiping tonight, or silently in your hearts. We continue our prayers for the Ledbetter family upon the death of Caleb. We pray for Charles Wells III and Brian Legrand, for Richard and for Matt, for the Degree family, for Hannah Swift, for the safety of all of our law enforcement, for Cleveland Pines, for Lucinda, for the community that will gather for Jim's memorial on Saturday. For Lynn and Lisa, Bob and Tim, Edith and Courtney, for 
all these and all those who remain in our hearts and on our minds. We pray. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day, especially for the good we were permitted to give and to receive. The day is now past and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night. We rest securely for you are our help and you neither slumber nor sleep through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace.